Hello friends, I'm Tabitha with Moonlight Custom Creations and today I'm going to show you how to do this beautiful peekaboo snowflake tumbler. Let's go ahead and let's get started. What I'm starting out with is a 20 ounce skinny and this is from the Stainless Steel Depot. I prepped it with 80 grit sandpaper and I did not spray paint it. Now I'm just going to start out by just putting some tacket onto this tumbler. I don't like to dilute mine. I feel like I have better luck with the tacket method if I just use it straight on the tumbler. So I just squirted it all over the tumbler and I'm just using this makeup brush here and I'm a spreading it out all over my tumbler. I want to get a really, really good coat and making sure that there is no globs anywhere. Now I'm not worried about putting glitter on the bottom I'm not even going to apply any tacket to the bottom of this tumbler because this is going to be a peekaboo and I'm just going to spray paint the bottom. Once you have all of the tacket applied to your tumbler, you're gonna go ahead and take your heat gun and you're going to speed up the drying process. Now you can set this aside and let it dry. That's completely fine, but I like using my heat gun just to go ahead and hurry the process along. Now you're gonna know when it's dried because it does dry clear and it's going to be very, very sticky. Now that this tacket is fully dry, I'm ready to go in with my first glitter. Now the glitter that I got, I'm pretty sure this is blueberry and it's from the glitter grind. Now what I wanted to do is I didn't want to do like a traditional tacket. I wanted to use a couple, couple different colors and go in a swirl motion here. So I'm just gonna go in with my blueberry first and make my swirl stripes here <laughs> and then I'm going to go in with my second color. The second color that we're going to be using is interstellar and this is from the glitter grind as well and we're just going to go in and butt that up right against the blueberry and just fill in all the empty space that we have. Now that I have both glitters applied I'm going to go in and start with my tacket method. I'm just taking my fingers here and rubbing all over the tumbler. Now with this, you do want to apply some pressure because it does take a little bit of muscle. And what this causes the glitter to do is to lay flat and it gives you that nice little holographic look. Depending on what glitter you use, you definitely want to use like a holographic or like a rainbow for this method. And you're just going to do this all over the entire tumbler until it is smooth. You don't want to feel any rough glitter. It's going to feel smooth when you're done. And this is what the tumbler is going to look like after the tacket method. Now I did apply one coat of epoxy to this and now we are ready to start our boom. It is nice and smooth. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start out and measure this tumbler. Now I'm going to go in two and a half inches from the top and mark that and I'm going to go two and a half inches from the bottom as well and put a mark there. That is where we're going to tape off this tumbler. Now I'm just going to go ahead and go in with with my painter's tape here, line it up to where I made the line. That way I know the entire tumbler is even. And you wanna tape more to the inside because I'm only going to spray paint the top and the bottom. Now that you have those sections taped off, you can go ahead and just tape off the rest of the middle section because you don't want any spray paint getting on this section. Now what I have here are some snowflakes that I got off of Cricut Design Space and I'm just going to apply these to the top and to the bottom of the tumbler. Now, it doesn't matter spacing. This is pretty much your preference, whatever you want to do, however design you want at this point. These are going to be for our peekaboo. So I am using Cricut's removable vinyl. You could also use stencil vinyl. I don't really recommend using permanent vinyl because sometimes that's hard to get off. So I do suggest using a stencil or removable vinyl here. And you're just going to place these all over the top and the bottom of the tumbler. Now that I have the decals on, I'm gonna go ahead and use Head in the Clouds by Color Shot and then Blue Ocean Breeze 
Now that this tumbler is nice and dry, I'm gonna go ahead and do a layer of mica powders over top. Now I'm going to apply some tacket to the top section and the bottom section of this tumbler. So just like I did with the tacket method with the glitter, I put just a little bit on there and I'm going to spread it all over the bottom and then I'm going to spread it all over the top as well. Once you have your tacket applied, you can go ahead and hit it with your heat gun to speed up the drying process, or you can just set it aside and let it dry on its own. Now that your tacket is nice and dry and sticky, you're gonna go ahead with this uh, mica powder that I got from the glitter grind. I'm using Luna. It's a very beautiful silver. And I'm just going to take a little scoop here and I'm just going to sprinkle it over the bottom of the tumbler first. And I'm doing this by little sections, that way the mica powders don't fall off too much. And then what you wanna do after you get the mica, pow mica powders <laughs> applied, you're just going to take your finger just like a tacket method with the glitter and you're going to rub it all over the bottom of the tumbler. And you can add some more if you needed some more mica powders added. I'm also going to do the bottom here and I'm going to rub that mica powder all over the bottom. And then you want to repeat this same process to the top of the tumbler. Now this is what the tumbler is going to look like after you applied those mica powders. It reminds me of snow, honestly. <laughs> now after that's applied, you can go directly in and remove all of these little decals, all of these little snowflakes. And then after you get done removing all of the decals, you can go ahead and remove the tape from the middle. Now this is what the tumbler looks like after I removed all of the decals and the tape from the middle. Now this tumbler is ready for one coat of epoxy. Now I did add one coat of epoxy over top of this and once that is cured and ready to go, we are ready for our decals. We are adding Baby It's Cold Outside to the middle and then I do have some vinyl striping. So what I'm doing is I'm just trying to figure out exactly which spot I would like the main decal to be and I am just going to apply that right in the middle there. Now I like to apply my decals, just kind of bend it slightly, that way the middle sticks first, and then I will work my way out to the edges. Now this decal, I did find it on Cricut Design Space. Now with the vinyl striping, I did use 0.08 by 10 inches. Now I'm just starting at the back of the tumbler, and I'm going to wrap this vinyl all the way around the tumbler here. And when the two sections meet, I will cut off any excess using my X-Acto knife. And I'm going to repeat the same process at the bottom of the tumbler as well, splitting up the sections of the middle and the bottom. Now this is what the tumbler looks like when you apply all the decals and oh my goodness, I am in love with this tumbler. It is so gorgeous. Ah, oh, just so much sparkle and shimmer. I love it. <laughs> all right, y'all, it's time for the finishing touches on this tumbler. Now, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. That way you don't miss any of my content. I would really appreciate it. All right, y'all, what I'm doing here is I'm going in with 20 milliliters of Speedy Petey, and I'm going to apply a nice even layer all over my tumbler. And after I get done applying this layer of epoxy, I'm gonna go in with my heat gun, or you can use a torch, whichever you prefer, and I'm going to pop any bubbles that may be lingering on the tumbler. Now, after you get this completed and it is cured, you want to apply one more coat of epoxy and your tumbler will be finished. All right, y'all, now this is the finished result. I love how this tumbler turned out. I feel like it looks absolutely gorgeous. And I really hope this video inspired you to recreate this tumbler or something similar. Now, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. That way you can get future content. And thank you so much for watching this video. It really means the world to me. And I will see you all in the next one. Thank you so much. Bye.